This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 with World Chalice with a new background. I put the background that I really like for my videos on. Uh, I had to alter it a bit just because this was like behind the board, so I moved it up so now it's only obstructed by the opponent's hand. And stuff like that. But, uh... Oh. He let me go first! What a gentleman! Um, the safest way to do this is to summon Venus. <laughs> I was gonna do this and transmodify, but the safest way to do this is with Venus. Because now, uh, if this gets uh, ogred or ashed... If it gets ashed, it doesn't matter. If it gets ogred, then we. Uh, but so... I'm playing World Chalice, as you can see. I'm doing live commentary. I tried to film for some post-dual commentary videos, but this program doesn't really lend itself that well to post-dual commentary with replays because the way the UI works, it bulges the cards up, so when you're mousing over them in like replays, it doesn't really work that well. Uh, and then like even though the timer keeps turns pretty short, it still causes a bit of an issue uh, with uh, with like time with time taken essentially. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to use the Soul Charge this turn, because if I was playing this out IRL, I would definitely be using that Soul Charge. But, because right now, I am literally just flying by the seat of my pants into a timer. Even well, Not by the seat of my pants, but I uh, I do know what these combos are that I should be doing. But, I the Soul Charge ones become very, very, very in-depth. So, uh, so, I'll probably leave that for another time. It depends on what I draw into off the Ningirsu, honestly. Uh, basically is going to be what de dedicates uh, itself to that. But so we'll go into Aurum here. Uh, I still have... Uh, no, I do not wish to special my uh, thing. I still have this, so I'll make another Imduk. Uh, so I'll special Imduk here. I'm going to have to tribute over it. You have to use an additional card. Uh, when you do this with uh, with Lee in your hand rather than uh, the World Legacy World Chalice. So there's that. Uh, but it gets you the extra card back because uh, you end up popping your World Legacy World Chalice here to get back Ebe instead of using it for a Link Summon. So like you, you go down a card in the early stage, but then you equalize that card later. If you were wondering, if not, I can understand. Kind of boring, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but so I'll summon these two beckons here. Uh, I seem to be doing pretty alright on time, uh, just because I figured out the secret to this system. Uh, the secret to this system is that it does give you time back, but it gives you an incredibly small amount of time back for every action that you perform. Uh, so what you do is, like, even though it like takes time to navigate the sub-windows of, like, you know, this stuff, uh, you can pop up the extra deck button uh, and have the extra deck, like, icon just sitting on your screen, just wet, ready and waiting to go. Um, so like that's the that's the key, that's that's the secret, uh, because like you could be doing you can be doing your other stuff and waiting for effects to resolve and waiting for your ability to summon, uh, but then you could also just be summoning uh, have your extra deck window open because all it does is put it down below your hand so you can have it open while you're doing other plays, um, so like it, it works out really well uh, in that regard and in that respect. Uh, but so what I'm going to make here is I'm going to make another Ebe. Uh, because of the fact that I want to summon this from my hand. So I'll make these two into Eeb, and I'll make a Link Spider here. See, like, how I have it open, but it doesn't have me the it doesn't give me the prompt to special summon yet? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, do I have another Shine Ball in my deck? I do, but I'm going to save it. Savor the flavor of the Shine Ball. But So I will do this, these two, into Ningirsu. And then it will be Chainlink 1 Ningirsu, Chainlink 2 Eeb, in order to mask the Ningirsu. Now, I really like playing with all these 3D effects on, I may have already said this, uh, just because it helps accentuate what's happening um, at any specific point. Um, like, it, just, it makes it a little bit easier to follow in that regard versus others. Uh, but so, I still have this, which I'll activate. I'm still doing fantastically on time. Wow. Uh, like, I'm just, I'm playing really fast, and the server's giving me as much time back as it physically can. Um, but so, Orem has already been used, so I will special summon 
the firewall dragon here. And then I will be able to... Uh, I have the guard dra I have the, the Lee engrave that can be used. I cannot use this brilliant fusion because both of the targets are in my hand. That's fucking brilliant. Um, but so what I can do is I can make another... I can make the proxy dragon is what I can do. Is I'll make proxy dragon with these two over here. Because what I'm going to do since I have this soul charge in my hand and I have a lot of time is that I'm going to activate this, I'm going to put the emerald back, and I'm going to add a card back to my hand that I don't necessarily need, but would kind of work, and that would be Lee. Um, because what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to soul charge for quite a bit uh, after doing some shenanigans with, uh, with Firewall Dragon. So, with that considered, uh, Firewall Dragon, special summon. So I will special summon Firewall Dragon utilizing Aurum and Ebe. So those will go to Grave, this Firewall Dragon will be summoned, I can add a card back to my hand, and then I can link all of these into uh, into a new card, uh, and then Soul Charge. So, uh, yes, I'll special, and then I'll, uh, then I'll chain this Firewall Dragon, because I want to put a level 4 on the board, I want to put the back end on the board, uh, essentially. So the Beckon, or I could just do the uh, the Gym Knight Garnet. I'll put it over here. I want to be able to make the Emerald again. I want to draw another card. <laughs> I'm being greedy, right? Uh, but so what I'll do is I'll make Gaia Saber with these, with these three, and then I'll Soul Charge all of them back. So like it, I just I use those Firewall Dragons, and now I'm just gonna put them right back on the field. Um, so Firewall Dragon, Firewall Dragon, Ebe. And, uh, and a Beckoned is going to be the targets here. Because that gives me plenty of fuel to do what I need to do. I'm going to Soul Charge for four. Uh, no, I don't want to change that. Uh, Beckoned by the World Chalice all the way over here, man. Uh, Eeb in the center. Firewall Dragon here. Firewall Dragon here. And so now I can pop this open. I can go into my Emerald again. I can draw a fifth card. And now from here I can try and get to my... I'm just doing all of this because I want to get to the field spell, damn it. That's all I want to do. All I want is the field spell. That's all I want. <laughs> uh, but so we'll do this. Detach the back end. I'll shuffle back three cards that don't matter, like Link Spider, Proxy Dragon, and Ningirsu. And then those will go back to my deck. Draw a card. Terraforming, yes! Field spell, field spell, field spell! Please! I've still got over two minutes left on the clock because I'm just playing very quickly and very nice. Nice. I'm just playing very well. It's very, it's very good. I like this. Uh, but so we'll do this, uh, and then we will activate Etelli because that gives me an additional card on the Kyoto Waterfront, and so that will summon the Chosen out of my deck, and then I'll be able to make Link Spider. But first, I'm going to make the Proxy Dragon again with the Emerald and the Chosen because we want counters to get shit on the field. Uh, but so yeah, we'll special here. No, we don't want to special that. Uh, but we'll uh, special the bet with the... Uh, we'll special the beckoned out of hand, because then that'll make us be able to make the Link Spider. And now we have three counters on this, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the, uh, the Gamma Seal to the hand. And so then we have plenty of shit to be able to make this Link Spider extra linking my opponent and then we'll summon Gamma Seal from hand because this will give me a special summon prompt and then Gamma Seal will come down so Gamma Seal here in defense mode there's an Eeb protecting my board all of this shit is fine as fuck and this has got four counters on it we will in turn I spent a lot longer than six minutes doing that but that's what you get when you can play the timer really effectively. When you know what you're doing with your combo deck, turns out you can uh, you can manipulate the system. I love this UI. Like it tells you how many cards are in your extra, what cards are in your extra deck, what cards are in your graveyard. It'll pull up your opponent's graveyard, your banished, your opponent's banished, all that. It'll pull up all of this stuff. Um, why is it? Why is it not letting me in turn? There we go. I clicked in turn, and apparently it just didn't take. Oops. Um, so, there was a little bit of gas in there. Uh, did my opponent type something? I saw a little bit of text down here. 
Oh, he's playing Trick Stars. No, I don't want to change shit. <laughs> and both these Firewall Dragons are loaded. That's that's another thing. Both of these Firewall Dragons are completely loaded to do whatever. Um, yeah, you can have that. You can have that one because uh, you'll discard your hand at the end, and it puts a fifth counter on my Kaiju uh, Field Spell. But the next card you play is getting negated by Gamma Seal. Uh, like that one, 100% is getting negated by Gamma Seal. Um, like, uh, oh, it tells me reducing Kaiju counters by two down here. Did not know that that was a thing that happened. But so that will get negated and banished. Um... He d <laughs> oh, he's typing. He's saying, he's saying what? <laughs> I see. I see you, my man. Um, I'm going to in phase bounce his, uh, his Licorisia. My uh, Kaiju thing is at three, so I can negate one of those cards unless the next... <laughs> I'll just negate it again, man. No problems. No problems, no worries. So now it's at one. Um, so at the end of the turn, I am end no end phase. Yes, you discard your hand. Uh, shit. I should have uh, I should have activated this first, uh, but I'm gonna put that back into his hand. This bounces for three, so I'm gonna put this back, the emerald back. <laughs> I'll make this emerald again. Fuck you mean. <laughs> Fuck you mean I can't. Um, and so now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to, ooh, damn it, I can't do anything with that, um, but this is the firewall that I used, right? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link away with it. Okay, my opponent is surrendering. That's fine. So now we're going into side decking. <laughs> All right, so he's playing, uh, he's playing those bitches. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to put in decrees. No, I don't want to put in Decrees. I'm going to be going second against this bullshit. Um, so we'll put in the Cosmic Cyclones, take out the Order. Uh, or did I win Rock, Paper, Scissors? I can't remember. If I won Rock, Paper, Scissors, then this is in. Then this is correct. If I lost Rock, Paper, Scissors, then this is wrong. Um, <laughs> that's the way this is going right now. We're going to put it on the Faith. Oh, my lord. Uh, I'll put one of these Terras back in. What else is here that could come in... Um, oh, Valor is kind of good against this, because uh, I can negate his Candinas. That's right. Um, and I will take out one of these Chosens, just to, just to even the deck size back out. And then we'll be good to go. So we'll see what happens now. So he's playing Tricksters, all right? And I got him. I extra linked him, Gamma sealed him. I played Yu-Gi-Oh for eight minutes. He played for two. Fantastic. Uh, so, so what we've got here is we've got... My my opponent's main phase one. Okay. Alright, he went first. Good. He has one card in his extra deck. <laughs> Why did I go through all the trouble of extra linking him? I should have just looked at that first. Amazing. Alright. But so as you can see, yeah, my, my entire uh, my entire extra deck is full. My opponent's graveyard shows up here. I love this UI HUD. You literally if you have if you're hovering over a card, it'll stay up, but as soon as you click on anywhere that's not a card, then boom! Uh, it brings up all this information every single bit of it and that's great i love it and it lends itself very well to like online play because as games get more complex and more complicated then you can you can do things like that but so he's adding candina he added two copies of light stage so is he just gonna play the other one yeah okay fair enough might as well just turn the terraformings into more searches right i'm probably gonna lose the fuck out of this game <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh my god hopefully i just get him but I don't think that's going to be the case if he's already... Three light stages! <laughs> oh, shit! Alright, so he added Candina and two Licorices, so... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least this e is chainable, so I can take a card out of my hand, right? So that his, uh... So that his, uh, shit, uh, doesn't, like, mess with me. Oh, Valor was just incorrect aside against this deck, if this is what can happen. I didn't know this card was spell speed, too. It's literally the first word on it is quick effect. <laughs> I don't read words. Um, this is not how this works. Uh, luckily, it's going to. Luckily, you're going to benefit from it regardless. Because th these aren't hard ones. Oh, wait, no, it does work that way. Weird. 
I thought this would have been like Gen X Ally Birdman, where it has to see the card physically go to your hand. So, like, only one of them would have been summoned. That's the thought I had, but oh well. Whatever, Mang. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so glad there wasn't a chain summoning there that I... Let's see. Okay, so Trickster Reincarnation is going to hit me for five in my standby phase. Uh, which means if it hits me for six, right, each one of these will do 18 plus two, that'll be 6,000. Um, plus whatever's happening here. Uh, like, whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so many cards. All right, standby phase, you gonna do it? Main phase one? Oh my god, he's not doing it yet. All right, so, step one, special radiant over this. <laughs> <laughs> you let me have it, so I'm gonna punish you. You should have stamped. Oh my god, he's still just letting me have it. He has reincarnation down. This is something that I know. I'm just gonna start activating all these cards. I know that this is a reincarnation, dude. This should have been like the first card that you activated. Uh, I'm gonna chain this e -telly. Uh, So, I'm gonna put the chosen here. So now, you, you, oh, oh my god, you should have just instantly slammed down the reincarnation. Because now I'm very much alive. Very much alive. And now, even though my, uh, my situation is kind of not as amazing because of, uh... Well, now I have Lee in hand. Oh god, this is still good. This is still amazing. I thought that I'd fucked up by not slamming down the Brilliant Fusion. Uh, but I've got the waterfront and I've got Lee, so I'm literally just doing my entire play string regardless of whatever he thinks that he wants. Um, so, shit. <laughs> Didn't think that that was going to be how this went, but hey, I'll take it. So I'll special summon this uh, by doing this, and then I'll make Eeb, I'll summon this. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I can actually add Gamma Seal and summon it, or I can add Radiant and summon it. Ooh, that's the play. We'll go ahead and add uh, Radian uh, because I can summon it and get a token, right? Um, and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll be able to do some shit. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get rid of I'll get rid of this stuff. Um, where's my Eeb? There it is. I'll get rid of this and this for the Eeb. That'll special the Lee out of my hand. And then uh, I'll be able to get World Legacy, World Chalice. I'm, I'm taking damage, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. So, yes, World Legacy, World Chalice. I'll take another 400 or 800. Uh, it's actually quite a lot to take just straight out, like straight off the rip. I mean, it's kind of, kind of being a problem. Uh, but at the same time, not going to be too big of an issue in the long run, because I'll be able to Ningirsu one of these away uh, pretty easily. Uh, new. No. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to special an Imduk. Special summon? Yes. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, I thought I clicked summon. Turns out I did not. Uh, but I've still got plenty of time, so that's fine. Uh, into this zone... I can gain my additional normal now for a World Legacy World Chalice. And we can do my things. And now this can get back my Eeb. I'm just going for the Ningirsu, man. Uh, will Ningirsu kill me? Actually? That's the thought. I might not be doing this Venus again because I have the Radian. Um, because uh, this... Uh, <laughs> if I do Venus again, right? Uh, if I do, I'll be taking 800 off each, uh, of these, because I'll draw three, which will be 600, 200, so I'll take 800 each, uh, so I'll take 1600, um, so yeah, we do not want to Venus again, uh, but, so I will World Legacy World Chalice here, I'll special, um, I'll special two Beckons and just draw a card, well, actually, I'll just do Beckoned and, uh, and Guard Dragon, because that will, uh, that will work, yeah, Beckoned is banished, so I can't do the second Venus loop anyway. Or the second Venus uh, sequencing. So that actually just works out better in my favor anyway. Uh, but so what we'll do is we will link into a Link Spider with this. And then I will link into Proxy Dragon with... Come on. 
give me the give me the prompt. There we go. And I like how they light up when you finally have control again. Like when your opponent is waiting for a response, then you don't have control. Um, but so I'm gonna take 1,600 off of these when I make them in Gear Su. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, so we'll make them in Gear Su with this and this. We're pointing at everything we need to be pointing at, and then we can start sending shit to the grave. Um, so yeah, that's gonna burn for six, that's gonna burn for two, this is gonna burn for six, this is gonna burn for two... And now I can just actually start using, uh, my cards by, uh, by what I'll do is I will special summon this. I will take two tokens off my field spell to generate a token. Uh, I'll take two counters off the field spell to generate a token, right? And then I'll be able to play the other Kyoto Waterfront, which will get loaded up pretty ev like pretty quick, like pretty quickly, yeah. Um, but so I'll activate the second Kyoto. Uh, I can go straight into Firewall Dragon here. Uh, my opponent is doing some response window nonsense, uh, so I'm gonna go straight into Firewall Dragon here with this and the. Uh, Radian, leaving the token, because that means I can summon another Kaiju, if possible. Uh, but so I'll summon the World Legacy World Chalice from my hand. My opponent is, like, taking all of his waiting time. But really not. He's waited, but he's waited for, like, a solid 30 seconds during this, uh, during this game so far. Uh, which I find interesting enough. But so, from here, I can make a Firewall Dragon with these. And... That will be pretty alright. I can make Firewall, 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 uh, using the Orm as a 2, and we'll do this. I should have been gear sued to send one of his cards to Grave. I just completely skipped that step. Uh, no, do not wish to do that, uh, but my Kaiju Field Spell does have the uh, appropriate counters on it to do some stuff. So I will add the Gamma Seal to hand just in case he plays some weird shit. What is this system telling me? Um... Whew! 100. One crisp hundred. Um, and so now we'll go into the Link Spider here with this onto this. And then we will special with Gamma Seal. Uh, no, I do not want to chain here. I want to do this. I want to summon this here. So we'll summon this. And what I will do now is that I will. I can activate this. Um, this is something that can be activated, funnily enough. Uh, let's see. I have Gaia Saber and that in my grave. Uh, but all of these firewalls can be activated. Um, and I'm just going to put back his board. I'm going to put back his Licorice uh, and my Kaiju to my hand. And then this firewall. Um, what the fuck? Ah, oh, no! I gamed myself! Oh, that's fucked up. I forgot that that would be like, added a card to my hand. I am so upset. I am such a dirtle. I literally had that game won. Alright, well, I guess we'll go for the 3-0. The 25-minute 3-0. Um, so we'll do this. And we'll take out this. And we'll put this back in. And I am okay with that. Ah, oh, fuck. So, okay, note to self, that card triggers no matter how the card is added to your hand. I just, I just didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> Whoops. I was literally sitting there, and I had it in my mind to win with 100 life against the burn deck. But, turns out, I suck at this game. <laughs> Rip in peace. Uh, so that's, that's, um, that's unfortunate. Alright, so my opponent just decided to rage quit. Um... I don't understand why, but he did. But so, I needed to read that card a little bit more closely than I did. I technically won that game if I had bounced the right cards at the right in the right way. If I had bounced his two tricksters with my first firewall dragon, my second firewall dragon can bounce one more card. I bounce my kaiju to my hand. That's game. Um, I should have read that card a lot more closely in an actual tournament. That would not have happened because I would have read the card. But in a format where I'm timed for every action I do. Not going to read it as closely as, uh, as I might in other instances, but I may sound like I'm just making excuses, and I kind of am. But anyway, this video is long as fuck as it is. Uh, I did some comboing, and I technically 2-0'd my opponent, I guess, uh, especially since he just left uh, for some reason. I guess he just didn't want to deal with it again, uh, dealing with the better deck playing out its turn structure.
So I guess that's that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you want to suggest decks for me to play, then definitely feel free to do so in the comments down below. Or send me a deck list to the email address in the description. But drop a like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And links are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support my ability to make content directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as it gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway for significant amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product that happen at the beginning of each month. So, there's that. But anyway, special thanks, as always, to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You help out a ton in terms of what I'm capable of doing, and you have my eternal gratitude. But, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Sorry this one doesn't have as much of a clear-cut uh, ending as others.